Hi there, next installment of Connecting Through Magic. Today we're gonna use the rubber band, a uh, different rubber band, because we, for the paper clip, we had a rubber band that we broke. Another rubber band, um, you can't see it here, because it's, I'm using blue, just because it shows up better on my fingers. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you a trick, and then I will, again, explain how it's done. All right, I, um, I train my rubber bands. This is uh, Herbert, uh, that's a nod to Dennis Bear, but Herbert, and um, we're gonna uh, see about making, uh, Herbert likes to do tricks, likes, and he has one trick and he does it well, and so Herbert jumps. All I need you to do is you're gonna tell Herbert to jump. Jump, Herbert! And Herbert jumps right across to the other fingers. Yep. So that is the trick. It's the jumping rubber bands. It's one of the, literally one of the first tricks I learned years ago. I don't want to say how many years, but a number of years ago. And, um, and so we're going to teach it to you, and I'm going to teach it to you now. Any rubber band will work. Um, you want a rubber band. Uh, what I do is I've got small hands and uh, small, uh, chunky fingers. <laughs> so I use, um, I take the rubber band and I twist it over. So it's just tight on, the, tight on your hands. See like that. Uh, if I don't twist it, it's pretty loose. So I twist it to make it sure that it's fairly tight. You can use any size of rubber band, smaller the better. Depends on the size of your hands. But there we are. You got the rubber band wrapped around these two fingers. Then, when I'm talking about how I've trained my rubber band, and you don't have to use that. Um, we call it in the magic world patter, but you don't have to use that story. You can use whatever story you want. Um, the uh, amazing evil Knievel rubber band. Anyway, so we've got the rubber band, and then when I'm when I'm talking about how I've trained my rubber band, I'm holding my hands down like this. Um, but I'm going to show you this way. As I'm talking about it, I pull the rubber band out, kind of a couple of times. I give it a little stretch, and then then I when I pull it out like this, all my fingers go inside. So on this side, it looks like it's just one, and I'm kind of holding it here on my thumb, but you know, it's not necessary, but I put it there. So here are the rubber bands all around the fingers, and then here it's like this. Again, so you're here, you pull this out, and all the fingers go in, and it rests pretty much underneath the first knuckle, and it's right there. Um, so you're there, and then we got it like that, and then what you're gonna do is all you all you need to do now is in one quick motion, just open up your hand. And what ends up happening is you're here, pull this out, what ends up happening is you open up your hand, this rubber band here is gonna shift over to these here. And so it's pretty much kind of doing this to where you here and it jumps over so again one more you've got the rubber band here you pull it out like this put the fingers in so right now i did it and fingers are in the rubber band like that and i'm holding it like this so just in talking like that and then you open it up and it jumps across to the other side so you can do it the opposite direction as well. It's just reversing the actions. Again, you pull this out and all the fingers go in and it jumps back. But once, uh, get that down, work on that, practice that, and there we are. Jump, Herbert, jump. All right, I hope you enjoyed that and you can like, subscribe, comment, and share to your heart's content because all of this is for uh, the joy and keeping us together connected and you can share that magic with your family and those that you are able to come in contact with or as my friend Francois did, you can record it and post it up on uh, Facebook or YouTube and show and share it with your friends that way. So, all right, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.